We are now joined by Dr. Annalisa Jenkins, formerly head of R&D at Mozzarono at GAP Summit, who is also a speaker at the panel session in Future Health GAP. So Dr. Jenkins, what do you see the most significant challenge uh, in the leaders of tomorrow will face as they develop their careers in the future health um, industry? Well, thank you, Janice. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. Um, well, I'm very optimistic, actually, about the next 20, 30, 40 years of biomedical, biopharmaceutical uh, research and development. Because I do believe that the model is the right one. I think it's evolving. And I think that we are going to build on the last 50 years of success in this space and really advance to the next wave of innovation in science, medicine, and healthcare. Having said that, of course, technological advances, globalization, um, actually economic constraints and governments uh, trying to work out the affordability of how to address their healthcare problems of their countries, these all come together to create an increasingly uncertain, uh, perhaps even a more risky environment uh, in which uh, you and your colleagues will be pursuing your careers. So what I would say to you is that I'm very keen to help young people learn the lessons of history, but also to be optimistic, but to understand that embracing ambiguity, to looking at their careers as in the long game, as a marathon, not a 100 meter dash, and to view the future as one of an ecosystem where culture and leadership and those qualities are going to be key to future professional success. Those are the things that I'm really hoping that young leaders uh, today and tomorrow will embrace as they're thinking about how they want to pursue their passion. Thank you, Dr. Jenkins, for your answer. My second question is, um, what is the one piece of advice to the leaders of tomorrow to develop their leadership in biotechnology? I would say that if you want to pursue a career in biotechnology today, you need to have certain attributes. You need to be courageous. You need to be resilient. You need to be optimistic and come to the table ready to be creative. You need to have an ability to take risks. And ultimately, you need to be collaborative and be willing to work across the ecosystem with many different other people on a global basis to advance your ideas. Thank you. And my last question is about GAP Summit. So, um, what have you enjoyed most during the GAP Summit? There is nothing better, Janice, to the, be spending time with the Gen Ys. I find it so energizing to be able to uh, really tap into the energy and the optimism of uh, the next generation of future leaders in science, medicine, and healthcare. And so I've enjoyed the sessions, and they've been great, but I particularly enjoy listening to the questions. And then after each session, being absolutely hounded um, by eager participants and delegates with all their own personal questions. And I hope that I've been able to offer a perspective, but also a little bit of practical advice um, that I've really learned from my first 30 years in industry, and I hope to take forward myself for the next 30 years, um, but certainly um, paying it forward to the next generation. So congratulations on a wonderful conference. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jenkins. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day at the GAP Summit. Thank you, Janice. Thank you.